Aston Martin has played the ultimate top trumps card at the 2018 Geneva International Motor Show with the world debut of the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, the sensational track-only evolution of the Mark's spectacular hypercar. Taking the world's most extreme road car as its basis, the AMR Pro version distills the combined knowledge, expertise, and aspirations of Adrian Newey, chief technical officer of Aston Martin Red Bull Racing, and Aston Martin's most talented design and engineering teams, led by Marek Reichman, Aston Martin's chief creative officer, and David King, chief special operations officer to create a car with the performance capabilities of a current LE Mans LMP1 prototype or Formula 1 car. The Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro completed a magnificent trio of track thoroughbreds displayed on Aston Martin's new Geneva show area at stand number 2229, located in Hall 2 of the Pale Expo Exhibition Center flanked by the 2018 Aston Martin Red Bull Racing F1 TM show car and Aston Martin Racing's new Vantage GTE World Endurance Championship Challenger, the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro was unveiled by Nui and Aston Martin Red Bull Racing's team principal, Christian Horner. Joining them were Reichman and Jean-Claude Biver, CEO of Tag Heuer, the official watch partner of Aston Martin and Aston Martin Red Bull Racing. Full technical details of the Valkyrie AMR Pro will be revealed in due course, but those headline figures that can be disclosed provide a remarkable statement of intent. Key to the car's unprecedented track performance are its lightweight construction and high downforce aerodynamics, a combination that will result in a car that weighs 1,000 kg, yet is capable of generating more than its own weight in downforce. To achieve this remarkable figure all the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro's aerodynamic surfaces have been revised in the pursuit of significantly increased downforce. Most obvious changes are wider bodywork and much larger front and rear wing elements, which together with revised active aerodynamic control strategies tailored for the demands of track driving. In order to save weight this bodywork uses a lighter construction of carbon fiber. Likewise the removal of items such as the heater slash demister blower and infotainment screens fitted to the road car, and through the fitment of new ultra-lightweight track-specific components such as a polycarbonate windscreen, with heater elements, and side windows, carbon fiber suspension wishbones, molded race seats and a lighter exhaust system ensure the AMR Pro hits its 1,000 kg weight target. Calibration changes to the 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine's emission control systems and reprogramming of the energy recovery system control software will result in a combined power output of more than 1100 bhp, more than the Valkyrie road car and a figure that comfortably exceeds the magic 1 colon 1 power to weight ratio. That's to say more than 1 bhp to propel every kilogram of mass. The single-minded pursuit of top speed has never been part of the Valkyrie ethos, yet even in high downforce track configuration the AMR Pro is still capable of hitting 225 miles per hour. A far greater benefit to lap time is the track-only Valkyrie's ability to achieve lateral acceleration in excess of 3G, a figure far beyond that of any other car derived from a fully homologated road car. Red Bull Racing's chief technical officer, Adrian Newey said, Seeing the Valkyrie AMR Pro and this year's Aston Martin Red Bull Racing F1 TM show car together at Geneva is a special moment for me. The Aston Martin Valkyrie road car draws extensively from the knowledge I have gained during my career in Formula 1, but the AMR Pro version has allowed me to work beyond the constraints of road legality, or indeed practicality. We've told a few of its secrets, but by no means all. I will leave it to the public to ponder the lap time predictions. Suffice to say they're quite impressive. Commenting from the Geneva show stand, Aston Martin's chief executive officer, Andy Palmer, said of the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, anyone who knows me will tell you I'm a true racer at heart, so to see the track only Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro together with Aston Martin Red Bull Racing's Formula 1 and Aston Martin's World Endurance Championship cars here at Geneva is fabulous. I'm starting to get used to some of the extraordinary things Adrian, Nui, Red Bull Racing, Aston Martin and all our exceptional technical partners, now including Mobile One and SO as Valkyrie's official oil and fuel partners, are capable of but the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro is something truly mind-bending.
Speaking at the debut event, Christian Horner, team principal of Aston Martin Red Bull Racing said, It is hugely rewarding to see the Valkyrie AMR Pro unveiled here in Geneva, another evolutionary step in the relationship between Red Bull Racing and Aston Martin. We set out together with an ambitious and pioneering road map to create something extraordinary in partnership, and the Valkyrie AMR Pro is yet another turn of that wheel. Just 25 Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pros will be built. Deliveries are expected to commence in 2020. All cars are sold.